Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Patty, and on Mondays I make characters, and on Thursdays I do budget-friendly home decor. If you like any of that kind of stuff, be sure and like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Today it's all about the red, white, and blue. I'm bringing you a compilation of some of my past red, white, and blue gnomes. I'm also going to show you how to make a firework stand that you could actually use as a lemonade stand. If you want to know how to do any of that stuff, stick around. I show you how. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Have an awesome week. Hey guys, got a super easy Uncle Sam inspired gnome want to know how to make him stick around I'll show you how these are all the supplies you're going to use and I'll go through them as I do each individual step first thing we're going to need is a six inch pool noodle two six inch and by quarter inch sticks six um, corks a um, circle with out of faux fur and a couple tennis shoes okay I went ahead and cut out my patterns for my legs we're gonna go ahead and build our legs we're gonna go ahead and hem up the bottom and then the side on both of them so that we'll have a nice crisp edge on the back of his leg. Just fold those in. And this is a two and a quarter inch pool noodle I'm using. If you need to use a noodle that's a little bit bigger than that, you will need to scale the pattern. Or use something besides a pool noodle, but two and a quarter inches is the max on the hat that I'm, I made for this pattern. We're going to take our six corks and we're going to put them on our six inch sticks and just kind of turn them until they're lined up a little bit even. All the corks are a little bit different, but you can line them up. Then we're going to go ahead and take our shoes. We're going to put some glue inside of it, and we're going to go ahead and glue in our legs. Once you get these legs in here, just look at them really good from the side and make sure that they stand up straight. Just kind of get them pretty straight so that when they stand up in that pool noodle, they're not leaning forward or backwards. All right, then we're going to lay that shoe right onto that um, fabric with our seam in the back, and we are going to glue that leg, that pant leg, right to that shoe with that seam in the back. We're just going to go ahead and glue around and glue it down. And then we're going to come right up the back of the leg and we are going to glue the leg up. Now I made this fabric a little bit long on this. You can cut it off. Once I got my slits put in it, I cut off probably about a half an inch. So you could cut your pattern a little bit shorter to start with. Again, we're going to do the same thing with this leg. We're going to wrap it around the shoe, make sure our seam is in the back. And then we're going to glue that to the shoe because we want it to stay on the shoe. And then we're going to do that all the way around and then again go up the back of that leg and glue that down. After we get that all glued down, all the way bound down the back, just make sure you just glue it to the fabric and not to the other side of the fabric. Put your finger in there make sure. And then we're just going to go ahead and cut some slits in it about a quarter inch apart. And this is how we're going to attach it to our pool noodle so we can make sure our leg stays on our noodle. So just cut quarter inch slits and I cut it a little bit too, I made the fabric a little bit too long so then I went back in and I cut about a half inch off of that and you could cut that off at the beginning if you wanted to save yourself some time on this step. Just about a half inch too long. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my pool noodle. I went ahead and cut my little holes into it. It just face them straight across from each other and when you put your shoe on make sure your right's on the right and the left's on the left and glue that leg in there and then we're going to take the fabric and we're just going to glue it right up that noodle to hold it onto the noodle. And you're not going to see any of these flaps once you get your shirt put on it. So don't worry about how it looks right now because it is going to be covered up. Just get them on there good and tight so that they do stay on. So if somebody were to pull that leg, it's not going to come off. Just glue it to the noodle itself. Then we're going to go ahead and take the other leg, do the same thing. Fold the fabric back. We're going to put glue down inside the noodle and then we're going to stick that leg right up in there. And you might want to check to make sure it's straight at this point as you do have a little bit of room to wiggle it a little bit if you need to. And then we're going to go ahead and slip that and keep gluing that down just like we did the other side. And again, you're not going to see this once we get the shirt on it. Just all the way up on all of them. All right, once we have that done, we're going to take our white circle that comes out of the bottom of the hat that we cut out already to stick it in there, and we are going to cut some slits on both sides so it will lay down in the front and lay down in the back. Cut the inseam out a little bit, stick it back in there, glue that in, and then in a little while, we'll glue the middle part in. And this is just going to hold it all together. And if anybody were to look up underneath there, they would just see a nice white piece of uh, foam in there instead of a bunch of fabric. 
Now we're going to build his hat. We're going to go ahead and cut it out of craft foam. As you see, that has an oval. The wide sides are the sides. You're going to take the top. You're going to take glue and put it on the chipboard. Glue it to the top, and this will give it a little sturdiness at the top. Then we're going to take our sides and we are going to glue them down just a quarter of an inch. Don't go more than a quarter of an inch or you won't get them on your noodle. And again, if you need to scale this for a bigger noodle, be sure that you scale all the pieces of the hat together to the same size. Go ahead and glue that on down. And again, a quarter of an inch at the top, a quarter of an inch at the bottom. Right there. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and attach that to the top. And probably the easier way to been to do that would have been to put the glue onto the top base, but I put it around the edges. You can do it either way because our little um, foam is going to cover it up when we're done. And then you're also going to cut another piece of foam that's quarter inch by 10 inch, and that's going to go around the base. I didn't show it in this picture here, but I do have it included in the in the listing on the pattern. Just glue that all the way around till it's completely in there. And we're not putting a lot of, um, we're not building this up with um, cards or chipboard because our noodle is going to be inside of that all the way in and that's what's going to give it its sturdiness. Okay, now that we got that done, we're going to just take that in half and find the center of the front and we're just going to glue that all the way around just to cover up any of the glue that you might still see from putting on that top. And we're just going to go all the way around and then glue it off in the back. And if you put the glue onto the strip itself, you get a little bit less glue and you won't see it. If you put it onto the hat, you might it might ooze out more, so just put it on the on the strip only. And then get that really glued in good, and then we're going to attach our base to it. We're just going to take our base and remember that the oval side, the wider sides are the sides, so when you put it on there, make sure that those go to the side and then the front and the back are go to the back. Slip it on there and we're going to go almost all the way to the edge, but not quite to the edge because we are going to add another strip. So probably about a quarter of an inch from the edge and then make it sure it fits good. And then we're going to go ahead and leave it on the hat and we're going to put our strip on it onto the noodle. And then we're going to take our glue and we are going to run a bead around the edge, all the way around the edge of the, of the bottom of the hat and the brim just to kind of hold them together. Then we're going to take our other piece of um, quarter inch foam and we are going to attach it to the edge and the noodle. So go ahead and attach that all the way around just to trim that out nicely. And be sure when you get to the back seam to cut it off because you want your seams in the back. And then take the other side and glue it on around to finish it out. This just gives it a nice finished edge when you finally get everything put together. And it's also the edge that we're going to attach everything to. So go ahead and cut that off and glue that on down. All right, after we get that all done, then we're going to go ahead and turn it back over and we're going to attach his little um, trim. You're going to take that with the lower side down and trim it all the way around and it is made just to fit perfectly on that hat. Glue on the center first and then go all the way around and it's going to meet right in the middle. You're not going to have an overlap on this one in the back. It's going to meet right in the middle. If you didn't get it exactly right and it doesn't meet in the middle, you can stretch your foam just a little bit and it will meet up with the, with the back of it. But it is made to fit right evenly in the middle flush. Just get plenty of glue on there and hold it down till it dries. All right, there you have the hat. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the body. We're going to um, cut our pieces out of the fabric. And then I'm using some piping too that has a little cord in the middle of it. I'm just take that piping, go all the way around that um, bottom edge of the back of his jacket, cut it off, and then we're going to cut slits in it so that we can glue it on and it goes all the way around real easy. Probably about quarter of an inch slits all the way around. Not through the cord though. Make sure you do not cut through your cord. And then we're going to take our slits with our cord towards the middle. And we are going to glue that all the way around. Just continue to stretch it around there. And since you have cut out those little slits, it should curve around there real easily. And this will be a nice piping on our jacket. 
when we get it open back up it just gives a nice little trim to add a little bit of accent to it I'm going to cut that piece off then we're going to take the other side of the back of the jacket and we're going to glue that straight down on top if you have a sew machine you can sew this as well all my patterns are set up for sewing as well just glue that all the way down and make sure you get plenty of glue because you do not want any opening when you turn that right side out okay then we're going to let that dry really really good we're going to put it aside and we're going to go ahead and build the body to make sure that's glued in there real good okay now we're going to take the bigger piece and this is going to be the body we're going to hem up one side so we have a nice seam down the back and then we're going to hem up the bottom so we have a nice seam along the bottom as well don't worry about doing the top because when we get our cuff on there it will cover all that up so just two sides on this only okay then we're going to take our noodle and we are going to wrap it around and we are going to go just below that white edge that we added that trim going to glue a little bit down there to on the back and then we're going to go ahead and glue it all the way down because we want this flush with the deal with the body go all the way around and get that glued in really really well and that's going to be his shirt and then we're going to go ahead and take the white pieces underneath and at that point go ahead and press those on in there flush with his legs and then that will clean that opening up in the bottom really nice okay now we're going to go ahead and um, finish out his jacket this is going to be the vest part of his jacket and we are going to hem up two sides and the bottom on this Again, don't worry about hemming up the top because it is going to be covered up by the collar. Okay, once we get that all made, then we're going to take the bottom part of our jacket and we're going to attach it to the top vest part that we just made. Okay, take your bottom part of your jacket and go ahead and turn it right side out. And then I'm going to just take like a bone folder that I use for like paper crafting and I'm going to stick it in there and just kind of smooth it around to make sure all of that's pushed out. Now don't push too hard because you do not want your glue to pop open. But if you glued it good, you're not going to have that problem. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take that and just smash it down, make sure it's flat. Then we're going to go ahead and attach it to the bottom part of the vest and we are going to gather it so that it comes in a half an inch on each side. We're going to start in are um, gathering about an inch in on each side so we only want just the very middle part of the bottom of our jacket to be gathered just go in and out by there about a quarter inch all the way through just in the middle section leaving an inch on each side and then we're going to go ahead and gather it to fit where we have a half an inch on each side once you get that gathered go ahead and tie that off and then we are going to glue that to the top part of our jacket but we're going to glue it on on the underside our jacket top our jacket vest part is going to cover the top part of that find the center put a little dab of glue and then we're going to go ahead and attach our bottom to that and we're going to glue it straight across so make sure that glue straight across pull those on open till they're straight going to do it for both sides you make it pull it on over there glue it down so it's straight across and that'll complete our little jacket okay then we're going to take our jacket and we're going to put it on just find the center point for the back and we're going to glue that down and again don't worry about the top part edge being um, open because we are going to cover that with a cuff just glue that vest on down or that jacket on down on both sides and around the bottom and the top and then glue that in so that jacket's completely sealed on and now we're going to go ahead and take the little belt for the back of our jacket and we are going to um, hem up all four sides on this just glue them all up about a quarter of an inch on all four sides after we get that all glued up we're going to add a couple of buttons to it to kind of dress up the back of his belt I'm just taking some solid gold buckle, um, some buttons. You can use whatever you want to. Okay, and I'm just going to add a dollop of glue. They kind of stand up a little bit. 
and I'm going to glue those on. So a lot of probably add a lot of glue, not too much so you don't see it, but enough to hold those onto there. And then we're going to do that for both sides. Okay, and let that dry really, really good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and build his arms. We're going to take our half inch um, hair noodle. We're going to go ahead and cut it in half. And then we're going to pull the wires down a little bit in the bottom. And we're going to cut those off flush so that they're even. And then just hold them up to your um, gnome and make sure that the arms are to the length that you want them to. Because you can cut, you can trim it at this point, but it'll be hard to trim later. Then put a little bit of glue in the bottom and glue that wire right back in there with that stopper on the bottom of it. Pull the wire out of the front, and we're going to go ahead and cut it flush with the noodle. And we're going to do that for both sides. Go ahead and pull that back, glue that in. And if you have any excess hanging over, go ahead and cut that off. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take our fabric. And we're going to build our arms. We're just going to go up the bottom, hem it up a quarter of an inch, and we're going to hem up the side a quarter of an inch. And we're going to do that for both sides. Okay, when we attach our noodle, we're just going to go right up to the edge of where our hem was, and we're going to go ahead and glue it right there because we are going to have to add a little bit of cuff, and it'll give us a little bit more room to put our bead. We're going to put our bead in last. So go ahead and put those, glue those down just up to the edge of where you hem that up, roll it up, and glue it in. All right, then we're going to go ahead and put those aside, trim that any excess off at the top, and we're going to go ahead and build our cuff. Go up one side and the other side. We're going to cut, go up all the sides on this one, except for one side, and that one side's going to be covered up with the other, with the seam. And then I did cut his arms just a little bit um, short on his on his clothing. So when we actually put it onto the um, gnome itself, you'll see. And so I did adjust the pattern accordingly. So your pattern will be a little bit longer. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and attach our arm. And we're just going to come down below the, the quarter inch seam that we just made. We're going to fold the unfinished end and glue it down. And then we're going to glue the finished in over the top. Now it will be a little bit floppy. It's not going to be flush with the jacket completely. It's going to be a little bit on the open end. So you're just going to go back in and add a little bit of glue to hold it in. But it is kind of an oversized cuff. Again, we're just going to come down and glue it in about a quarter of an inch down. Do the glue the end that is not finished and the glue, the one that is finished over the top. And then again, add a couple little dollops of glue inside that cuff to hold it in because it is a little bit oversized. Okay, now that we got our arms all made, we're going to go ahead and take them and we're going to attach them to our body. You're just going to bend the top part of it over and then we're going to end up putting a stick in it and we're going to cut a hole into the side of the fabric to hold that stick in. And I cut like an inch and a half sticks to go in there. So just cut that through measure it down. I could measure down about an inch to bind and I did the same thing on both sides. So make sure your arms are even. So do take a, take the time to do a measurement on them to make sure they're even. Then I took my sticks, made sure that they go in there, bend them down, and we're going to attach it to our body. And we will go back and glue those in. So we just want to make sure that they're where they need to be. Bend that over pretty heavily so it's like a shoulder. And this is where I kind of messed up a little bit because I'm having to trim my noodle off a little bit. Put that stick on in there and then we're going to go ahead and attach it too. Then we're going to go ahead and take those and we're going to glue them in. We just want to make sure that they fit good in there before we glue them in because once they're glued, you can't unglue them. Okay, now we got them where we want to. We're going to take our glue, stick it down into that noodle, stick that stick in there, and we're going to let those dry really, really good before we put our arms on. Do the same thing for the opposite side. Just take that stick, stick it on down there. Just leave about half, maybe three-eighths of an inch sticking out to put the arm on. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach our little belt to the back of our jacket. Just take a little bit of glue and glue that in. Just right on the back to kind of give it a nice finished little touch. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach our arms. We're going to put a little bit of glue on the arm, stick it up on that stud, hold it on there until it dries really good. 
And then we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Just put a little glue in there and push that stud up on there and glue it in. All right, now he's got his arms in there. We're going to go ahead and do his beard. We're going to take our faux fur and we are going to cut just behind the faux fur all the way around this pattern. And then we're going to clean off the excess fur off of it. Then we're going to take our faux fur because we don't have an edge. We are going to fold over the top just about a quarter of an inch on the top because that's going to go just flush up against that edge. And we are just going to glue that right up against the edge of that hat. Just push that right up on top of that white band and just glue that in. And after we get that all glued in, then we're just going to lift it up and we are going to glue it down to his body. Just a little bit of glue on there just to glue it down. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and take the cuff, the collar, and we are going to attach it to the body. And we're going to put that right up against the top edge of that band that we put at the bottom of the hat. And we're going to glue that down just all the way around the top edge of that jacket. And we're going to glue that down. Make sure where your center is. Hold it up there and then we're going to pull it back and then we are going to attach it to the body. Right along the top edge of that hat. And that will keep that all trimmed out nicely. And we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Just get that glued in there and then that's going to be the collar for his jacket. Alright, and let that dry real good. Once we get that done, we're going to put a little dollop of glue on the, on the nose and we're going to attach it right up to the edge of the hat, right in the center of that beard. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach some um, stars. You can decorate his hat however you want to. I'm just kind of making it more like the Uncle Sam look with the stars on the hat. I'm just going to add six of them. I'm going to put one big one in the middle and then I'm going to go around the edge with the other five. Um, you can put stripes on his hat. You can put stars on his hat. However you want to do it. Just decorate it up how you want to. These are adhesive um, foam stars. I got those at Hobby Lobby. But you can cut out stars however you want to and just glue what you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a dollop of glue in his hand and I'm going to put his hands in there. And I'm just using a 15 millimeter um, bead just to put it up in there and pretty much done. All right, there's your little Uncle Sam gnome. Okay, for this gnome, you're going to need a couple little bee shoes. I got those on Amazon, some fabric, some weights, some wire, a one inch styrofoam tube. You need some beads for the nose and the hands. You're going to need some faux fur, a pipe cleaner. And then I got these little hats at Hobby Lobby. If you can't find them, I'm going to give you a link below to a pattern and I'll show you how to put it together at the end of the video. You're going to go ahead and touch your, um, cut your styrofoam tube at two inches, and this is going to be the body. Next, I'm just taking a piece of two and a quarter by 12 inch fabric, and I'm, I'm gluing up the 12 inch side on just one side. And then I'm going to glue up the two and a quarter inch side as well. Then I'm just going to take my little styrofoam, and I'm going to leave an overhang at the end the same width, the same size as the hem. So just go ahead and let it hang over because that's where you're going to tuck your shoes up under, and it'll hide all that. So go ahead and make sure that you get your line straight, though. Okay, next I'm going to take my um, pipe cleaner, and I'm going to cut it at two and a quarter inches each. And these are going to be the arms. And then I'm going to take my fabric. I'm going to fold up the three inch side and one of the two and a quarter inch side on each of these. And then I'm going to put my pipe cleaner in on the two inch side on the opposite side. And I'm just going to roll it up. Now roll these up pretty tight because you don't want to have real big arms on this little guy. And then do the same thing for the second one. Okay, next I'm just going to take two beads and I'm just going to glue them on both ends. Now I'm just pushing mine in a little bit far so that it just grabs and you don't and you won't see the inside of that sleeve. Okay, next I'm going to take the little shoes and I'm just going to, um, I'm not going to completely unlace them. I'm just going to loosen the laces. I'm going to pull the tab back and I'm going to glue in a 5 16 inch weight and I'm going to push it way towards the very front. You need to make sure you push it all the way as far as you can to the front because we're going to put our little leg in there in a second. Then I'm just going to take my wire and I'll give you the link to this. This is a little bit flexible wire so you have a little um, give room when you get your legs on there to get them straight. I'm just going to take my, my, my pliers and I'm just going to run it around the nose of that just to kind of give it a little bit of meat. Now that's going to act as the foot inside the shoe so you just want to make sure that you do do that step. Then I'm just going to open my shoe back up and I'm going to glue that in. 
and then just make sure that you get them straight. Now you can bend these wires once you get them where you need them to be so you do have a little bit of room to get this straight if you don't have it completely straight. Then we're going to do the same thing for the second shoe. Again just put your weight in there and you're going to glue it in. You're going to push it far as you can up to the front because you need to have the room to put that little um, wire in there. And then just uh, lace those shoes back up. Just get them tight because they'll, they'll look better that way. Then just run that, um, that um, lace through there and then we're going to go push it down inside of there. So just tuck it right down inside of there. I'm just getting a little wire to push it in there and then I'm just going to kind of glue it in place. And then do the same thing for the second shoe. They only have one lace in it that doesn't have just two. It's just one lace ran through both sides. And then just tuck that piece down in there and then just glue it in. Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to the body. Make sure that your seam is in the back and your feet are facing forward. Now there's not a left and a right on these. They were both the same side, but they're so small that you really don't notice it. Just get them straight and then we're going to go ahead and just glue them in. Okay, just go ahead and pull it off and then put a little bit of glue in there. You don't need a lot of glue, just enough to hold that little um, wire in there. Okay, next I'm going to cut my beard. I'm going to cut it at one inch by one inch. And then I'm just going to cut around on the backing only in a U shape. And then clean off all the excess fur so I don't have any extra fur stuck to it. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach it. I'm just attaching it at the top edge. All the way up to the top edge. Okay, next I'm going to take my arms. I'm just going to get them where I want them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bend that wire over onto the top. Because we're going to glue them down to the top part of that um, styrofoam um, cylinder. And that'll hold them in place. Just kind of almost down to the bottom of where their little um, shirt is. And then just put a little bit of glue on top and on the edge of the side there. And then just glue that in. Hold it in until it dries. And then do the same thing for the opposite side. And then when, when you put your hat on there, it'll, it'll hold it all together really well. Okay, next I'm just going to attach the hat. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the very back because once you get it onto his body, tilt it to the back a little bit and that'll be enough to hold it in. Then I'm just taking my little bead and gluing it right in the center where his beard is. Okay, now if you didn't get the, um, the hats at the, at the Hobby Lobby, you can cut this pattern out. I have SVG and PDF on both of them. Just line it up to where the, the seam is going straight up and down and go ahead and glue it in. And then make sure that your seam is in the back and the meatier part of that um, top of that hat is the front and the back. Just go ahead and slide it over the top of there all the way down to your almost to the bottom. And then just put a little bit of bead of glue all the way around and then just slide that um, brim all the way on down. And then you can put um, a trim around this hat and everything like that. You can decorate it up. I just had silver um, glitter um, craft foam that's why I'm using this then just put some glue around the top part and then just kind of squeeze it to shape and glue that in and then I'm coming back in because you can see some white on there and I'm just going to take a sharpie and color in the white areas if you get a blue um, craft glitter craft foam then you might want to look for a blue um, pen and just fill it in and then you can put a little band around it like the hat that I used for the hob for the ones from the Hobby Lobby okay that was pretty easy Okay, these turned out super cute. Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. 
Okay, for this one, you're going to need a pair of socks, some clay, a bead for the nose, a little spray of um, for 4th of July, a couple sticks, some jute, some pipe cleaner, a 5-inch noodle, some faux fur, some stuffing, and some foil. Okay, let's get started. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to take our noodle, and we're going to stick it down inside of this sock. Now, you do, you do not have to use the Dollar Tree noodles on this. You can use any size noodle you want because the sock will go over any of them. Just pull it all the way down to the bottom. Just kind of make sure that your lines are straight. And then just push into the middle because that's where we're going to glue it. And then just go open up the sock and make sure you have enough to push that down into the middle. And then just go ahead and cut that off. And you actually have enough to make two gnomes with this. Okay, go ahead and take that sock back off. We're going to put a little bit of glue inside the center. And this is what we're going to push that bottom part into. So go ahead and pull your sock back over it. Just make sure that if you are using the striped um, sock that your lines are straight. Go ahead and get that glued in and then we're going to go ahead and pull it up on the top make sure it's straight on the top as well and then we're going to glue in the top part Okay, next we're going to take our sock and we're going to make our hat we're just going to come up from the from the top of the cuff and curve up seven and a half inches turn it inside out and then we're going to take about a two inch piece of jute and that's going to be our fuse for the top of our hat. Just put that in there and then we're going to go ahead and glue that in and glue all the way down the sides till you get back to that area where that cuff is. Next we're going to take two pipe cleaners. We're just going to twist them together and we're going to curve that down the back of the hat. So go ahead and cut that off. Curve your, your ends in because you don't want any pointy ends sticking out. And I just twisted mine up and just going to glue that right down the side. Okay, then go ahead and turn that right side out. And then I'm going to take some stuffing and stuff it in there. Now, I'm just making it enough to where it's um, it fills it up, but it's not bulging. So just enough to make it full, but not um, you don't want any bulging areas on that hat at all. Okay, next I'm going to cut my beard. I'm going to cut it at one and three quarter by one and three quarter. And I'm just going to go in a U shape. From one side to the other, just kind of curving around, cutting the backing of the faux fur only. All the way back up to the other side, and then just comb all that excess fur off of there. Next, I'm going to come down two inches from the top of that noodle. I'm going to make a mark, and that's where I'm going to attach my beard. Okay, then pull your hat on down. And then we're going to go ahead and attach his um, nose. I'm just going to pull the front back a little bit. And I'm going to attach his nose right almost up to the top. Say about a quarter of an inch from the top. Okay, next I'm going to make the sleeves. I'm just going to cut a three inch piece off of that sock. And I'm going to cut it in half so I'll have enough for both arms. And then I'm taking this little spray, and the only reason I'm using it is because I wanted that wire that had two different colors twisted together. If you don't want to do this, you can actually use a piece of jute or a string or anything you want to use for the fuse. I'm just going to take my um, sleeve, and I'm going to hem up the long end with the stripes going up and down, and then the short end. And then I'm going to take a pipe cleaner. I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to put my fuse in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece off for the fuse. I'm going to take a quarter inch dowel stick. And I'm just going to roll it around there to kind of make a curly end on my fuse. And then on the top tip, just take your pliers and kind of twirl that in a little bit. Because you don't want it poking out there. You don't want anything sharp sticking out. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue that in first. And then I'm going to put my pipe cleaner right up next to it. And then just roll this really tight because you don't want the arms to be real loose. And then do the same thing for the other arm. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and just cut the um, pipe cleaner flush with the sleeve. And then just put a little bit of glue in the top just to hold it in. And then we're going to bend those over about a half an inch because we're going to tuck those up underneath the hat. 
And next we're going to make the feet. Just take one um, quarter inch by six inch dowel rod and cut it into two and a quarter inches. I cut mine long here. I had to go back and redo them. So just cut them both at two and a quarter inches each. And then go ahead and sharpen them. Next I'm going to take some foil. I'm going to take two five sixteen inch weights. And I'm just going to put those inside that foil and roll that up. And then I'm going to take another piece of foil just like that and I'm just going to roll it up too. We're trying to make like a like a one inch size ball. We're making a little cherry bomb for his feet. And then just roll it up in your hand so it, it does form a ball. And then do the same thing with the other one. Just kind of get them rounded there. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on because when you're messing with the red oven baked clay, it does get on your hands. And just to keep it from staining my skin, I'm going to go ahead and put these gloves on. And then I'm going to take the, the clay and I am going to flatten it out with a little roller. And then I'm just going to wrap that around the foil. And you want to do it this way instead of just roll it up a one inch ball um, because it does save clay and it bakes up a lot quicker. So just make sure that you get it completely sealed in. And then just roll it up until it's a round ball again. And we're doing, it's about a one inch ball. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other one. Just kind of roll it out thin. And then we're just going to wrap it around there. And then I'm putting the weights in there because um, it just kind of made him set a little bit easier. It just gave a little bit of weight to his feet to make him set up better. Okay, now we're going to take our sticks and we're just going to push them in as far as we can. They're not going to go in real far, but push them in as far as you can. And then we're going to put some um, bacon bond um, oven baked clay adhesive in there. And then when that bakes, that'll, that'll um, keep it all together. And we're going to roll out a little rope to put around the top part just to keep those sticks standing up straight. Go ahead and put your oven baked adhesive in there. And I'm using the Sculpey brand on that. And then we're going to put that little rope around them and that will help um, reinforce your stick. Just kind of make sure that's standing up good and then just wrap that around and then pinch off any excess. And then we're going to bake these at 275 for 15 minutes. Okay, before I bake them, I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of floral wire. This is going to be the fuse with little cherry bombs on the feet. And then I'm just going to take a little dowel rod and I'm just going to kind of curve them a little bit out. Just kind of curve, make them curved out. Then just go ahead and push them into your little shoes. And then we're going to add a little bit of that oven bake um, adhesive to these as well. So just kind of put a little bit on there. And then push those back in there. And then just bake these until they're done. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to... Um, Paint it onto the shoes and then I'm going to pour um, a real fine red glitter over the top of these. And make sure you do it on the bottom of the shoe and the whole shoe. The bottom and the, and the top of the shoe. And then get any excess off and then just set those aside. And then we'll come back in and put a little Mod Podge over top of the glitter to let it dry. Then you don't have all that flaking from this glitter. And then I'm just going to put those into a styrofoam. Um, board that I have just to let them dry. Then go ahead and take your sock your um, that matches your hat and you're going to cut that at one and a half inches and cut that in half and that's going to be for the legs. And then just going to glue up two of the long sides and one of the short side on these. And if you iron these socks before you do this part, it makes it a little bit easier because they do tend to kind of roll. And 
and then just do the same thing with the other the other leg. Now we're going to go ahead and roll them up in our um, shoe. I'm just putting glue on the outside edge and rolling that around. That way I can get my seam in the back. Don't glue it to the stick itself until you get the seam in the back and then you can glue it in. Just kind of make sure it's a little bit straight and then just go ahead and put a little bit of glue just underneath just to hold it to that stick. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach them to our gnome. Just um, put them where you want to. Just take an X-Acto knife and cut a hole in there and then just push that on in and when we figure out how we get the other leg on where we want it, then we'll pull them back out and we will glue them. Just make sure that when you put those in, they are in there straight. Um, you don't want them leaning back because if, if it's a little bit lower than the body, then he'll tend to lean back. Just kind of line them up really good. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and take them back out and just glue them in. And you may have to pull the sock out of the hole a little bit. That's what I did on mine. It kind of, when it kind of goes in there, you want to make sure you pull it out before you glue your leg in. Okay, now we're just going to attach his arms. I'm just going to put them right underneath there. And I'm going to fold it and I'm going to glue them in. And let them dry real good and then you can fold them up. And make sure that you have the seam facing outward on this time. Okay, then I'm just going to fold them straight up. Kind of like he's holding his head going, oh my God, I'm getting ready to have a headache because I'm getting ready to explode. Just push them right up there and let them dry. All right, there he is. That was pretty simple. Oh, yesterday I did a firecracker dome and I had this in the background so I wanted to be sure and show y'all how to make this. This is made out of foam core board and it's covered with um, clothespins and craft sticks and I've given you the pattern in the description below so all you gotta do is cut it out and assemble it. If you want to know how to make it, stick around. i show you how. Okay, for this one you're getting 11 by 14 by 3 16 inch foam core board. Cut all the pattern pieces out. I've given you the pattern in the description. And then use blue um, painter's tape to attach your pieces to the board. That way you won't tear your board. Okay, next just take your ruler and just start cutting down the lines of each piece till you get all your pattern pieces cut out. Okay, now that they're all cut out, we're just going to start assembling. the. This is going to be a front, and that's going to be a side, and you're just literally making a square, a rectangle base. Just spend some time on this. Make sure that your sides are standing up straight because you want to make sure that you have a, a squared edge. And then go ahead and attach the back to it. And you can use this pattern for a lot of things. I mean, you can make a popsicle stand, an ice cream stand, a lemonade stand. You can actually use the same pattern for a lot of different, a lot of different projects. And then we're just going to make sure that that gets square in there. And we're going to add the top. So we're just going to take the um, hot glue and just go all the way around the top edge of the base. And then attach our top. And then the bigger piece there is for our roof. Okay, next we're going to take um, some quarter inch by 12 inch dowel sticks. And we're going to cut two of them at six and a quarter. And this is going to be for the front of our stand. And we are just going to glue them to the outside edge of the front. And then just get any excess glue off that you can. Okay, then we're going to take two um, quarter inch by 12 inch sticks and we're going to um, cut those at eight and a quarter inches and that's going to be for the back of our stand. And this way our roof will set at a tilt. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to take my roof and I'm going to make a, a I'm going to cover it with popsicle sticks or these are like jumbo craft sticks. Just line them up there to figure out how you, however you many you need. I put 11 on there and then come back in and mark with it hanging over the edge a little bit in the front, mark the back. And we are going to cut the backs off of all of those so that you have a nice straight edge along the back of your roof, along the top of your roof. So go ahead and cut one as the sample and then start marking them so that they're all the same exact length. Then you're going to add a piece of um, painter's tape right to the edge and that'll keep your popsicle sticks from cracking. So make sure you don't skip that part. Then we're going to take some clothes pins and we're going to take them apart and we're going to use them to decorate the front. I'm just measuring out how many it's going to take and it ended up taking eight to do the front. Okay, next just line it up across the front and we're going to glue them on. Now go ahead and lay them on there first because you need to know exactly where you need to start because you are going to have to overlap the little poles on each side. So get one in, then you can dump the rest of them off, and then just start gluing them in. Just make sure that that first one is straight. Okay, next I just took one of those jumbo craft sticks and I'm just going to put it on the front, kind of hanging over the edge, kind of like it's like a counter for the customers to come up to. Okay, next we're going to do the roof. Go ahead and lay your popsicle sticks out just to make sure how they need to glue on for the first one and then you can glue the rest of them on because one of them's going to have to hang over the edge a little bit and you need to figure out exactly where that one's going to be. And just start coming in, make sure that first one was straight and then just come in and start adding all the rest of them. Just make sure you get it lined up along the top edge. Okay, next I'm going to take a popsicle stick. I'm going to go, there's 11 of these sticks, so we're going to right in the middle is going to be five and a half inches. I'm going to mark that one at five and a half inches. I'm going to tape it off so it doesn't crack. Go ahead and cut straight across there. And then we're going to bring the other one and line it up there with that. Cut it off. Mark it at the same five and a half inches. We're going to cut that off. And then we're going to join the two across the top just to kind of um, finish out that edge. Okay, now to attach it, I'm just going to put a little bit of E6000 glue on the tips of each one of these pegs. I'm going to set my top on it, and then I'll know exactly where those set. Now I'm going to turn it upside down, line it back up with those little um, glue marks, and I'm going to take the hot glue gun and fill in the rest so that it'll just dry. So it'll dry faster. And just flip it back up. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little um, piece of craft foam. I cut it the same size as the top that you are going to have to trim off the back a little bit. And then go ahead and glue that one on. Then I decided to come back in on the sides and do the same thing I did as the front and put the little um, clothespins on the front. I mean on each side. So line them up. There's going to be um, a gap still where you're not going to get one in there. And I'm just going to take a little skinny popsicle stick to finish that out. And you'll see how I did that here in just a second. Just taking that little skinny popsicle stick to finish out the, out the back of it. And then do the same thing for the opposite side. And then just like I did on the top and on the front where I put that little countertop ledge, I'm going to take two um, craft, jumbo craft sticks and I'm going to trim those to go over the side edges just like that. 
All right, now it's time to decorate. Okay, I'm just going to take these um, stars and this um, craft stick, and I'm going to make a firework sign for it. I'm just going to paint this with the nautical blue um, craft, um, craft paint. And then I'm going to paint my stars white. Make sure you get the edges and everything of all of these pieces. And then I'm taking some um, wired ribbon. I got this at Michael's and I'm just kind of gathering it. Now I cut it off before I, I measured how much it was, but um, I'm not putting it on the bottom. I started to, but then I started, then I decided to put it on the roof, but I had already cut it. So I can't tell you exactly what size it is. You'll just have to kind of gather it till you get it to about the same right size. And it's kind of making a U over here in the front. I'm going to go ahead and glue one side down and then I can shape the rest of it around it. And then just if you just ungather it a little bit and you can get it up there on. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, glue the front flat down. Just along the U part, just like um, do a glue U and then just glue that in. And then go ahead and fix your pleats. Okay, then I take my Cricut and I did the word fireworks on some vinyl and I'm attaching it to my stick. Just going to put that in the front. And again, you could do a lemonade stand or whatever you wanted to do. And then I'm just going to put my stars on both sides of it. Okay, next I'm going to make some fireworks to go on the countertop there. I'm just taking some dowel sticks. I'm painting two of them red, two of them white, and two of them blue. And then I'm going to cut them each at one and a half inches. I'm just going to cut those off. And you're going to have to go ahead and paint the bottoms and the tops because you'll still have wood color between them. Then I'm going to take a um, silver pipe cleaner and I'm just going to wrap it around a piece of wire. It just kind of gives it a little bit of definition there. And then I'm going to cut those off at about half an inch to put on each one of my fireworks. And then just do that to all your white ones and all your red ones. And then I took them and I just stacked them up on my um, display and you'll see that here in just a second. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was some inspiration for your red, white, and blue. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.